So there, but this is this one. This is only one example of the pretext task which I showed. But there are many other pretext tasks which uh, people have actually proposed in the literature. For example, um, in 2016, there was also uh, one very nice seminal paper about this these pretext tasks, where there uh, uh, you 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 kind of create image patches or maybe nine image patches of from an image. For example, here uh, this, uh, and then basically, for you could actually put these image passes in the random order in the random permutation and assign that per permutation an index. And at the end, basically, you kind of only uh, you are only you feed these image passes as patches uh, at uh, like in different permutations to the network, but the network is, is network is trained to predict the which particular index of the permutation it is. So as as shown in this in this figure. So this is is a particular uh, pretext task which which has been quite uh, useful in in uh, in literature. The other two, for example, here I show you um, a pretext task of predict relative position. So here again we we kind of divide the image into patches, but al along with the center patch, we we also give the patch to be to be predicted. And basically, the, here the idea is that which uh, where the label is actually uh, where the patch location is. It's, it's, it's similar to the previous one, but there we are uh, indexing, uh, predicting the index of the permutation, but here we are directly uh, referring to the patch itself. And uh, there is also another, on the right side, you could see there is also another pretext uh, task, uh, which one could use, for example, image coloring. So here the input image is essentially uh, divided, in a color input image is actually divided into grayscale image and AV uh, color channels. For AV ch color channels actually represent green, red, and blue, yellow color components. And then you, from gray level, uh, ch uh, gray, gray level channel, you try to predict the AV channels. And similarly, from AV channels, you try to predict the uh, uh, grayscale uh, channels, and then basically from these two, you fuse to have the predicted, uh, uh, pre your predicted, predicted image, though, which is the original color image, actually. And similarly, two more pretext tasks which I would talk about is basically this um, uh, feature learning via in painting. Basically, you, where you mask the parts of the image and try to reconstruct them. So here again, you are basically kind of using the same image and reconstructing it. Uh, reconstructing it. So basically, the, your feature encoder, which does this uh, does this job, basically is then uh, is, is is actually your pre-trained. Uh, self-supervised model, or or the, or the 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 feature extractor, which which is uh, which is good enough after training, and similarly, there's there's also one more, um, uh, for example, this uh, frame order prediction, where you kind of uh, randomly shuffle the uh, the the the, uh, the sequential uh, the sequential frames and try to predict which or the predict the order correctly. So this is like also one of the uh, pretext task application. Okay, so if I summarize the pretext tasks, so pretext tasks focus on a visual common sense. So it allows the network to learn good features. Performance on pretext tasks is not important, but rather how useful the learned features are for specific downstream applications, for example, classification, detection, and segmentation. They have proven to be really good in, in vast variety of applications, but there are some small, small problems, for example, Coming in with individual pretext, uh, pretext tasks is of course, of course tedious, but there are like tons of uh, um, uh, different pretext tasks out there in, in, the, in the literature. And also the learned representations may not be general. 